All right, now we're entering chapter eight, aircraft landing gear systems. There's gonna be a total of 82 questions. It'll be divided into eight parts. So let's go ahead and move on and let's get started. So question number one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. It's two, three, four, six, seven, eight. So exposure to and or storage near of the following is considered harmful to aircraft tires. So definitely fuel, oil, ozone, electrical equipment, and hydraulic fluid. All of these factors, fuel, oil, ozone, electrical equipment, and hydraulic fluid. So fuel, oil, ozone, electrical equipment, and hydraulic fluid. Pretty much almost everything can damage tires. Just make sure if you get something on them that you go ahead and clean them off, okay? How do you clean tires? Soap and water, okay? So other than that, keep your tires safe. Once again, so if you get exposure to or what near which of the following is considered harmful aircraft tires, you know that it's two, three, four, six, seven, eight, which is fuel, oil, ozone, electrical equipment, hydraulic fluid, and solvents. Okay, excellent. Number two, the brakes would drag. The brakes would drag. The brakes would drag. So what effect if the piston return spring broke in the brake master cylinder? The brakes would drag. So what effect would be if the piston return spring broke in the brake master cylinder? The brakes would drag. The brakes would drag. The brakes would drag. Number three, withdrawing fluid from the system for the purpose of removing air that has entered the systems. Sounds like brake bleeding. In brake service work, the term bleeding brakes is the process of withdrawing fluid from the system for the purpose of removing air that has been entered into the system. Brake bleeding is the process of withdrawing fluid from the system for the purpose of removing trapped air that has entered the system. Okay, that's brake bleeding. Number four, various types of valves or orifices are used with restrict to restrict the reverse fluid flow. Let's try it again. Various types of valves or orifices are used which restrict the reverse fluid flow. Sounds like a check valve. To prevent a very rapid extension of an oleosuck strut after initial compression, the results from landing impact. Okay, makes sense. So you have various types of valves or orifices which are used to restrict the reverse fluid flow. So to prevent the rapid extension of an oleo stock strut after initial compression, the results from a landing impact, various types of valves or orifices are used to restrict the reverse fluid flow. Number five, air in the brake hydraulic system. Air in the brake hydraulic system air in the brake hydraulic system. So a pilot reports that the right brake on the aircraft is spongy when the brake pedal is depressed in normal matter. The problem is most probably caused by air in the brake hydraulic system, air in the brake hydraulic system. So spongy brakes most probably caused by air in the brake hydraulic system. How do you solve it? You bleed the brakes, okay? Number six, an internal leak in the master cylinder. An internal leak in the master cylinder. An internal leak in the master cylinder. Aside from the external leak in the line, what would cause parking brakes to continually bleed off pressure? 
So an internal leak in the master cylinder, an internal leak in the master cylinder, an internal leak in the master cylinder would cause a parking brake to continually bleed off pressure. Number seven, to allow the tube to position itself correctly inside the tire. To allow the tube to position itself correctly inside the tire. So why do most aircraft tire manufacturers recommend that the tubes in newly installed tires be first inflated, fully deflated, and then reinflated to correct pressure? This will allow the tube to position itself correctly inside the tire. This will allow the tube to position itself correctly inside the tire. Number eight, retard the flow of oil as the struts are compressed. It will retard the flow of oil as the struts are compressed. So it will slow down the flow of oil as the struts are compressed. The metering pin in the Oleo shock struts serve to retard the flow of oil as the struts are compressed. Number nine, the aircraft should be placed on jacks and retraction tests should be performed. The aircraft should be placed on jacks and a retraction test should be performed. What action should be taken whenever maintenance is performed that will affect the landing gear system performance? You must do a gear retraction test. Place it on jacks and retract the gear, okay? Number 10, to ensure safety is safety, to ensure safety in case of defective wheel or broken tie bolts. It, to ensure the safety in case of defective wheel or broken tie bolts. When working with high pressure, high performance tires, why is it recommended to deflate the tires when removing wheels from the axle? To ensure safety in case of defective wheel or broken tie bolts. This is incredibly important. Whenever you take off a wheel from the axle, okay, you're changing a tire, you're changing the tire assembly, you're changing the wheel assembly, all right? You're gonna pull it off and then you're gonna, make sure you deflate the tire. It is imperable that you do this. It's part of the manual and it tells you specifically, deflate the tire. Why? Because in case, something happens it's not going to blow up in your face and you won't die so 100 percent it's safety all right so in case safe to ensure safety in case of defective wheel or broken tie bolts now uh, take your first quiz and i'll see you soon